hello guys welcome back and now we are going to basically add a bottom navigation bar to our app so for that purpose here on the main screen dot dot file what we will do first of all let's remove this app bar okay we do not need that what we need is basically body okay and we will use the tab bar view since we will have multiple pages tab bar view okay physics never never scrollable physics and let's define the tab controller let's give it name as tab controller then we will need an integer type variable by the name selected index initialize it with zero that is of course there will be multiple pages so the user has to navigate between different pages so on which page the user is basically we will assign it to our selected index variable so anyways now we can say controller which is our tab controller and we have to basically initialize this tab controller equals to tab controller the length will be 4 that is we will have basically we will create four pages okay that is home page earning page rating page and profile page so that's why we have to specify the length for we sync this so this init start init start method will be automatically called whenever the user navigate to the main screen okay first it will execute this method tab controller will be initialized and also that is when as we have our tab view bar so that's why we have to implement the on item clicked that is whenever an item has been clicked so int index and we will assign inside this asset we will assign the index to our selected index tab controller dot index Sele assign the selected index to it make sure to add another check here okay so as you know we have basically four pages we will have four pages so whenever the user navigate between different pages okay each page has their own index number that is the first page it has one then second two then third and then fourth so basically whenever the user let's say navigate from first page to the fourth page okay so the fourth page has the index number four so we will get that index number and we will assign it to the selected index and that selected index we provide to our tab controller so that the user can successfully navigate to the fourth page and then we will highlight the fourth icon or you can say the fourth tab button that is this one is currently active okay that this one is currently active so that's why we have done this here on our own item clicked method and also make sure to extend this with single tickle ticker this first one single ticker provider state mixing okay and now here you can see the error has been gone so now after I mean inside the tab bar view we can say children and here we have to pass our pages so for that let's first of all create four pages right click on lib new and I will create a new folder okay directory if you are using Mac then it is called package okay the folder so let's create a folder by the name tab pages right click on tab pages new dot file so our first page will be home tab and then our second one it will be earning earning underscore tab and then 
let's create the next one which will be rating page so we can say rating ratings page and then of course the fourth one which will be the profile tab okay profile tab rename this ratings page to right click on ratings page okay and we can say refractor rename I just want to give it proper naming okay so it will it is our ratings tab page so rating step page profile tab page home tab page and earning step page okay we have created these four files now let's just quickly implement this material dot dot this is our earning tab so we can create a stateful widget and we will give it name as earnings tab page okay and then let's close this then we have home tab page so you can say import material dot dot and we can create stateful widget we will give it name as home tab page then profile stateful widget profile tab page okay and then we have of course the last one which is writing step page so you can say import material dot dot stateful widget and we will give it name as ratings tab page for now I mean on the on each of these tab pages let's display a message okay later on of course we will implement it so you can say return center child text since you know this is our ratings page so you can say ratings and then copy this return statement okay and then we have our profile let's just add it here also this is our profile okay and then after it we have home tab so we can say home and then of course the earning tab So now here we can say home tab page which is our first page then we have the earning step page then the ratings tab page and then finally our profile tab page for now we will add the constant modifier here later on of course we will remove it okay as you know currently our each of these page contain constant data that is just uh, tech using the text which we are displaying just this hard coded uh, text which is earnings home for file and ratings okay so for now according to the documentation if we have constant data then we use basically this const modifier alongside with that okay after the tab bar view now is the time to basically add our bottom navigation so you can say bottom navigation bar here we have basically specify our pages okay and we have to now add here properly the bottom navigation alongside with the icon buttons so we can say bottom navigation bar bottom navigation bar items bottom navigation bar item icon will be icon icons dot home okay as you know at the first index we have our home page so that's why icons dot home then the next one which is label so you can say label home so this was our first and since you know we have four so let's just copy paste it three times further okay one two and then three the second one we have is the earnings and the icon for this we will use is by the name credit underscore card okay and then we have the third one which is for the account so we 
for the ratings okay the third one we have for the ratings so it is by the name star and then of course the label will be this ratings okay and then the last one which is account and the icon for this is basically person by the name person and as you can see these gray line which I already mentioned you guys earlier that is these are not errors okay these are just a suggestion according to the documentation if you are using constant things that is constant widgets or constant data you are displaying for example hard coded text okay and nothing is changing at real time then you have to use the const modifier there okay and here you can see it has been gone now so for now just add this const modifier since we are using the constant uh, data we can say the constant widget bo bottom navigation bar item with constant icon and constant level for each item okay so anyways after this we have to specify the properties okay so let us just minimize this items code so that we can see everything easily okay so after the items here okay here we can say that the unselected item color that is the Id the items which are not active so the color for that will be colors dot white 54 while the selected item color it will be colors dot white that is the item on which the user will click so it will be pure white while the unselected item color will be this little bit gray type color I hope you can see it and then the background color will be of course colors dot black and type will be bottom navigation bottom navigation bar type dot fixed and then the selected label style will be text style font size let's give it 14 the font size and then show unselected labels that is we have to display the unselected labels as well so we have to set this to true and the current index we have to pass the select and index to it and then on tap we have to call our function which is on item clicked so here you can see the changes so this is the active color which you can see here and this is the non-active colors okay which is the unselected item color if you want you can of course change it to any color you want that is for the unselected as well as for any one of them for example if I change this the non-active to this okay yellow and the active one is white okay so for example if you want to change it to any color let's say you want to change the selected to red and here you can see okay now if I navigate and here you can see it okay the active one is red while the non-active one are yellow and here you can see we are navigating between different tab pages okay different screens so anyways I will go with a unique color which is our color combination white 54 and white okay that is as you know our background is black so these colors look really cool I mean really nice but it's totally up to you I mean you can of course choose color according to your choice and as you know we are using the latest new flutter version so according to the documentation once more time I have to say with the constant textile we have to use the const keyword okay similarly goes here okay never never scrollable physics is constant so you will use the constant modifier with it as well okay so yeah it is working fine okay even if you let's restart the app to see if it is working fine or not so here we go